Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome on back to the Minecraft 1.16 Survival Let's Play. We're back in here for episode 11. That is insane. I can't believe we're on 11 already, but thank you all so very much for the support so far on this series. One thing that I just thought of and we got to do right now is we've got to update the world map for everything we've been doing down here. Oh, it fell down in the back corner. I think that's going to be enough to grab it all, though, because there's not too much stuff outside of this area that we've updated. And that is looking very dark with all the blackstone. The very dark building we made the last time was our brand spanking new storage room with a car and all of these chests, which I still have not moved anything into. I'll get to that soon. Don't you worry. I'm still living out of the crappy house up on the cliff. It's fine. And I've got a little bit of an update. How, how, how'd you get out here, buddy? How'd you, how'd you get out there? I was going to say I have an update on the villager breeder. Let's go look at it. Hello. Hello. Hello, villager on the cliff. Are you just living there now, villager of the cliff? That's fine. Enjoy your time. I don't have a better way to get in, so we're just going to use this little dirt ramp. But as I was going to say, we've got something that we need to fix here very, very soon. Look at all of these villagers. Their noses are becoming a liquid. We have a liquid of villagers. Look at all of them in there. I don't even know how many there are. I think they're dying to entity cramming at this point. We've almost created a moon shape of villager heads, and there are a few jungle villagers in there well one i want to make sure he stays alive for sure but with that i did add a small block of dirt right over there that's going to stop all of the villagers from breeding so these two are just going to be chilling in here staring at each other forever but no new babies should be popping up so we don't have to deal with that thing causing any more lag in this world taking our little bridge here with us we're going straight back down and you're now standing on top of bamboo you have a death wish don't you as we've done a lot of building in the last two episodes this guy as well as that stuff up there i wanted to start today off a little bit of adventuring and head over to our mesa but first i've got to find some more food as we're down to three cooked beef here we need something better than that what better than that i can find i don't know did i throw anything in here to cook nope nope i did not we got six apples that'll tide us over right wait was that cooked fish cooked salmon and potatoes we're good we're set we are headed off to find the mesa because i have a fantastic idea in mind that requires a little bit of terracotta well glazed terracotta for a sign for the top of that warehouse now to find our way over to the mesa biome i think it's like that way so i'm gonna go around the corner and just head off into the distance for an amplified world it's pretty wide open around here we've got just a few islands popping up we can't even see the mainland behind us and i think that's one of my favorite parts about this world seed being on an ocean makes Makes the amplified world not seem so insanely amplified but then i feel like i never go inland now i've got a question to ask for all of you as we're boating along here with our dolphin friend behind us did anybody end up playing on this world seed i shared the seed at the beginning of episode one and a lot of people ended up asking for the world seed i'm curious how many of y'all are actually playing on it? And if you are, send me screenshots of your bases over on Twitter, okay? We've got what appears to be a very angry porg screaming into the sky right here with a very big tooth. Just rawr, and then we're moving on to hopefully finding the ocean. Not the ocean, we're in the ocean. The Mesa, at the end of the ocean. I am seeing some terracotta appearing in the fog and that thing looks insane. Hello, that's a lot of stone for a Mesa though. Man, Amplified would look so better if it didn't just add stone, if it took the biome itself and was just like whoosh, whoosh, terracotta everywhere. Could you imagine? Oh, that'd be beautiful. I'm seeing a few of the colors of terracotta that I do need and hopefully we can catch them before the lava covers it. So let's run up here real fast. I need some yellow and I need some white. And I need some brown, which I'm not seeing quite yet, but let's grab these. Ooh, can we stop the lava? Can we stop the lava? I want to see if we can get it right here. This is very dangerous to be here, but maybe we can redirect it all and save the landscape. Stop, 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 stop. Please, please stop. Do not pass go. Do not collect your $200. Please stop. No, stoppy stop. It's not stopping. Okay, we saved it. No $200 for you. No, 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 stop. Could also use some of this gold while we're around here too, so I might poke into a few caves. Wouldn't be the worst thing to have some more of this. I've been making a lot of powered rails recently. You'll see it later today. We've been working on a little bit of a railroad to get over to... Hello. Hi, Mr. Creeper. Please don't blow up my gold. It's not my gold yet. I haven't mined it, but I want it to be mine. Is that a pun in a pun? Haven't mined it? <laughs> haven't made it mine? I, I don't know. It's... It's a weird day, everybody. It's a weird day. Do Mesa biomes spawn even more gold than you would get iron in other biomes? Because there is so much around here. It's insane. I remember some people used to say that like the best way to get a beacon if you want to mine for it is actually to mine gold in a Mesa. 
Is that still true? All right, we've got our white terracotta. I think I'm gonna need some regular terracotta so we can dye it as we need. I don't know if brown terracotta spawns naturally. That looks like red, regular, and then that's orange, but we do need some yellow which we can get right up here. Oh, even some more surprise white terracotta. Look at that. The only thing we need left is brown, which I actually can just make some back at the base. So let's do some exploring around here while we're here and there's a mine shaft right in there already. Excuse me, sir. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's brown terracotta right there. Oh, thank you, sir. Torches on the left going in so we can find our way out of here and we're gonna gather up as much of the gold as we can and maybe find a few diamonds for ourselves too. Oh my God. Gosh, I'm trying to make sure I don't get blown up, but look at that! That is the most amazing Minecraft train I've ever seen before. This is beautiful in here. Oh, there's another mine shaft over there, and I think I saw a chest minecart. We're going in! My eyes have deceived me. I thought I saw one right here. It's just a spider. Oh, I'm so excited for the 1.17 mesas. I don't think they've really been talked about much, but if the generation changes, they could be so cool. Yes, I'm shaking my mouse in excitement. Funny enough, I don't think I even have cactus yet, so we're gonna bring some of this home with us. That's a good find. Finally, inside another mine shaft, seeing a lot of gold that we can grab, which is fun. And some coal if I care to keep continuing on, but I think once we run out of torches, that's where I'm calling it. Oh, there's something above me. There's a creeper right over here. He just seems to be chilling right back behind the little post, though. He's like, I like my post. You can't see me here. I'm sneaky. Oh, we got a floating minecart in a chest right over there with some glitched world generation and floating rails, too. This is a big one. Holy cow, this place is massive. I'm making more torches. We got some iron, lapis, another name tag, and more torches. A lot of cobwebs over here and a lot of skeletons and then another spider up here. Oh my gosh, the hearts are going down. We're gonna have to start eating our well-balanced diet and oh my gosh, I need a steak. Outside air, outside, outside. There's my boat, let's go home. Pretty solid adventure if I gotta say so myself. Check this out. We've got two and a half stacks exactly of gold and a very precious name tag. I found another shiny gold block that we're gonna mine and this time I can actually mine it. Just with the gold. Oh, my inventory's full, that's why. <laughs> Nailed it. More gold and more treasure out of shipwreck. Let's do it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Da, 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 da. Unbreaking three potatoes, the best treasure of all. Where's the other chest? What have you got for me? A buried treasure map. Let's do it. We're getting all the loot today. We're doing some exploring. This thing is fully in the land though, which is kind of nice. Oh, there we go, cool. Ooh, two diamonds for ourselves, another heart of the sea, some more gold, some more iron, and more cooked salmon. As the sun is setting for the third time, I think it's time that we head on home. I would just like to say we have no food to our name really, but we do have 65 diamonds. We've got a full stack of diamonds and we've got so much gold. I'm gonna start cooking it down. I don't know why I'm putting the blocks up here when I have storage room downstairs, but it seems better. I might've mentioned originally that I want to have some sort of a sign in here to show that it was like the entrance to the harbor, like the harbor warehouse. And I couldn't think of anything that was gonna work. The painting spam like we did right there just didn't seem like the right idea for this one. We're gonna need to throw a dark oak plank instead of here too. But if we take these guys, it's gonna be a pain to get them positioned correctly. How do you look? Ooh, two for two so far, or four for four, look at all that. Then inside of here, it's gonna be more interesting. The brown, we wanna have one in there, and then I wanna have the other one pointing down there. Ooh, is this gonna work? And then down there, nope, nope, not that. Got it, got it, perfect. And then we place you right back in there, and we place a brick right up here, and then we've got the white for the middle being this guy. And maybe like that guy, I don't want it to be the same, but I don't want them to make a pattern. That works, that'll work out pretty well actually. Then over here, we can add some extra lights on and make it look like it's illuminating the sign with a few torches right up here. And just believe, just believe in this one here. I know it's a bit weird, but for me, from all the way back here, it feels like we've got a bit of a sign going on. I like that. We've got like the yellow glazed terracotta is almost like lights coming up towards it. We've got that stuff all pointing towards the center and then whatever text that would be describing right there. I don't really know. I think it's kind of a cool, just little detail of color, splash of color as like a banner for our storage room. Speaking of the storage room though, we've still got this house back here that we need to add on it and we need to finish the pathway that we started going up to there, get a, getting ourselves all the way down here that I'm never gonna use because I now put a ladder right there. But anyways, let's go ahead and kick this up in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode and build up this lovely little house. 
Down here on the docks, I want to create something more interesting and something that would be used by the dock workers. So I decided to create a little bit of a restaurant down here as a fish restaurant on the docks. I really enjoy it. I think it's kind of fun. And it's just something cool that I wanted to stand out and contrast well to the bricks that we have. So you can see a lot of the worked wood being brought in, just adding a lot of extra details around here. And then the jungle wood is actually the pathway that we're using to loop behind everything in order to get it all in place there. And then I actually did the entire interior of this one, which I'm pretty proud of as well. It came together really, really well. We've got to just a plain old dark oak roof on the top with the chimney on top and then adding in a few lanterns down here from some extra decorations along the dockside hopefully removing some torch spam and there we have it over there the fishmonger is ready to go with one last little thing we need is a piece of fish here with a raw salmon i've got some item frames over here too and this place is absolutely awesome i want to do more stuff like this with having hanging lanterns all over the place but I don't want to be filling up the skyline too much with it. Overall, I'm really happy with this build, though. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I thought it could be even better if we installed a few item frames down here, gave them some cooked salmon to make it look like people are eating some food. And we do a last item frame back here on top of the fire with a raw salmon cooking away above our smokers. I think that is so, so fun. But inside of here, I thought it would be quite fun to put a panda. I don't know why a panda, but a panda. So I want to head off into the jungle see if we can't find one of those dudes and we can have our fishmonger panda salesman he's going to be running his little fish shop down here by the water let's go find one as we're waiting for the night time to pass i can show you all the upstairs in here look how cool this place is we've got a nice little rug we got some machinery stuff going on and then right over here we've got a nice little living room and up here we've actually got another bed for ourselves to use we're getting into some bamboo forest now maybe we'll be able to spot one around here soon we've got some melons which is kind of cool and some very very dark scary spots i hear a parrot there's a parrot right up there oh my god i want it i want it i want it what is that there's two parrots right there wait we're gonna get so many friends today i don't have seeds where's grass where's grass i want to get oh we can maybe get some seeds and tame a parrot fortune gives more seeds right fortune oh i'm breaking the dirt too I really like the yellow one though. Can we get you, buddy? Please, 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 please. No, I hate you. I'm kidding. I love you. Please be my friend. Yes, we have a parrot. We have our first parrot. Can we have two? Two? You want to be a buddy? You want to be a buddy? Come on. Be my friend. Be my friend. Why do you hate me? At least we have one. Take number two. Will you be my friend? Yes, we have two parrots. Look at that. Oh, they're so cute. There he is. The majestic panda. And I think there's a second one right up there too. Oh my gosh, we're gonna bring two. How can we get down there? I'm thinking that route's probably our best way. And then we can bring it back up over the hill. Then we can go back down the other side. Ah, uh, something's gonna die on this journey. I know it. I'm not happy about adding all this dirt along the edge here because it looks disgusting, but it means we can get a panda, so it's worth it. You know what, you boys, we're just gonna sit you down here. I don't need you flying around me and distracting me. He looks like a fish salesman if I've ever seen one. Look how grumpy he is. Found panda number one right here, and it looks like he actually is following bamboo, so he can maybe take bolt with us. I definitely want grumpy panda number one, so I'm going to attach the lead to him. All right, buddy, you're my new best friend over here. Can I not lead you? What? I thought you could lead a panda. Do I have to? Oh, grumpy panda, please. Please, grumpy panda, follow me this way. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. You are so grumpy, and I love it. You're so cute. Oh, no, they're taking damage. Please. That was the saddest sound I've ever heard in my life. Let's get your friend. Hello, Grumpy Panda. Come on, buddy. Slowly now. Slowly. Carefully. No need to lose anything. Let's go all the way over here. Come on. I know the sun's going down. I don't have a bed. You don't have a bed. Now for the hard part. Getting all the way up here. Let's see. How much of a professional are both of these pandas? Professional climbers. Don't fall off. Be very, very careful. Very careful. Come on, you old grump. Let's get up here. Oh, you're stuck on the bush again, aren't you? I almost hit the panda. That would have been very sad. Come on, grumpy panda. Just follow the bamboo and the torches. Just follow the bamboo. All the way up here, everybody. You're doing it. You're doing it. Look at you. You're such a professional. Oh, you're so grumpy and so professional. Come on, parrots. Let's go home. The entire squad's rolling out. I am the Pied Piper of pandas. Just follow the baton of bamboo. Everybody make it past the very scary, scary part over there. We did, and he even found a little bamboo snack. Look at that guy. He got a little snack. The Great Panda Venture might be hitting a bit of a roadblock here as we figure out a way to get down this ledge. Can we use the vines? If I push them into the vines, are they going to be able to go down? That could be a good bet for us. So he's down. He's down. Grumpy Panda was like, nope, this is how we do it. 
Sorry, other panda. Buddy, number one, survived, so I think I need you to take the fall here, too. Pandas are bouncy, right? Oh, I thought he died, but nope, he just bounced and ate a bamboo. We are now all in the canyon, safe and sound, and now it's for the dangerous point of mobs are dropping on top of us. It'll be super fun. The sun is coming up now, finally, but these little parrots keep making creeper sounds and spider sounds, and it is terrifying. Now we have a zombie sound of an actual zombie. If I can at least get them to the edge, I will bring my boat around and take them one by one because at this point, we just have ocean. From there, it'll be very, very easy. The birds decide to follow me home already, so maybe we can find a spot for them to rest. When do you guys want to jump on top of this note block right here? Yes, yes. Who wants to sit on the note block? Neither of you. Thanks, guys. He wants to sit on my shoulder while I sit on the note block, though. Can we just land? Yes. Land. Land, no, you're so close. You sit, no, you sit, sit there. And I'm gonna push you up the slab. Oh, you were just sitting on it. Oh, you're just taunting me now. We're up a slab and we just gotta go over this way a little bit and then we're on the block. We did it, it's fine. Finally, there we go. Bird number two is in place and I think I wanna get him sitting on the crate itself. Perfect, look at you, you pretty bird. We got a lot of something in our trunk over here and it's time to take the panda. Please do not sink the boat. Thank you, waterfall, and we're headed off. I think I need a wide load sign at the back of this boat right now. I wanna make sure I can breed the panda, so I'm gonna leave you right here for now and I will come back in just a moment. Just chill out, buddy. Panda number two is in the boat and ready to rock. You stay up there, mister. Both of you, come on up here. I know you can make that walk. I know you can do that. I am I know you can. I'm. And there we have it. Two pandas are at home in the city and they love it. They're so excited. Look at the boo baby. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Now that's the grumpiest fish chef I've ever seen in my life. And he's even got his son in there working with him. It's a father and son shop. Oh, that's so cool. Now where, where's mom gonna go? Where do you, where do you wanna stay? You wanna just kind of walk around here, peruse the scenery, enjoy the coastal breeze. Okay, you wanna go in the storage room, that's fine too. Next up, I wanted to switch gears here a little bit and actually head inside of the nether and build one of our very first farms of the survival let's play that I think is gonna be very important because I wanna do a lot of potion brewing inside of this thing. And well, what we need for a lot of potion brewing, well, is uh, we need a few blaze rods. Inside the nether now, I've got an idea for what I wanna do as a nether hub build. And yes, it's gonna be something we're actually doing this time. It won't be the fabled flip nether hubs that never get finished because it's gonna be rather small scale. I wanna make it look like a really steamy, foggy, just disgusting train depot of sorts where we can set a bunch of piglin trading and all the localized farms around the structure and i forgot my gold these the little piglin down here is gonna be quite unhappy with me can we just run on by him you saw nothing baby piglin you saw nothing that being said we're now at the nether fortress where we died to a blaze spawner previously but today uh is it safe it looks like it's safe we're hopefully gonna be able to take on this blaze spawner here and turn it into something really cool for ourselves and to get ourselves started here we gotta do a bunch of just clearing out of this area. I thought you couldn't spawn if there were torches around it. What the heck? Torches, more torches! I don't think they can spawn now and I have no more torches to verify that. The farm design that we're going with, as I'm not the most technical person here, is gonna be the one by Shulkercraft. I'll try and leave a link for it in the description. All I can hear above me is the sounds of blazes as I know my torches did not work and the slightest be able to clear that area out or at least make it a little safer for us. So I'm being very careful down here and watching the center for anybody to drop down on top of us. So far down here, I've got a big box opened up for ourselves. We need one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we actually need to take this layer back here as well it needs to be 13 by 13 at the base and i think from here we just break everything going straight upwards oh one is down here and there are two are down here run 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 i'm stuck on a fence we're on fire we are on fire we're on fire i'm hiding here to get my bread i'm leaving a chest here with all my building blocks until we get this place cleared out i don't want those to lose in the fire this is going to be very, very dangerous as we start revealing a lot more of it. Yes, let's just open up a giant hole in the ground. Well, we don't have a bow so that blazes can just naturally spawn in the entire area. That seems like a great opportunity, Flip. Great thinking. Yep, let's just keep doing this. Oh, lava, 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 get it out of here, get it out of here. No, 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 no. I recently heard about the super rare Minecraft item in the game called the shield, 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 shield. Shield? Oh, there's a blaze behind me. Oh, look at that. 
We might have to see where you get one of those things and use that one day. I don't really know where they exist, but people keep telling me about them, and I gotta really figure out what they are. They are everywhere. They're everywhere, and I'm on fire again. We're almost halfway through our supply of bread already. We get below 10 bread. I promise I will go and get my bow. For now, we live on the edge of anxiety. And there we have it. The bottom half is now cleared, and it's only just been a little bit of scared running around and breaking things, it's fine. The farm's done, we just have an open arena where we can fight our blazes and get blaze rods. That's what we do, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe we upgrade it. Oh my gosh, I've just been clearing out the roof up here and I found our first ancient debris. Check that out. Hey, I'll take that home with us. There we go, hidden in the depths. Well, you know, in the ceiling, actually at Y level 80, we're not even in the ceiling. There are a lot of blazes running free down there and I am a little terrified up here. And the best part is, the next thing we gotta add to this farm is lava. Who, what's more fun than fire and lava mixing together? Well, a fiery thing that you can't attack. That's, that's what's more fun. What have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven blazes. We need to get out of here somehow and run away. That's, that's the game plan. We drop down that hole and we're gonna just book it. We're just gonna run as quickly as we can. Let's do it. And we made it up. That's good. Okay, they're chasing us. Well, we're down here. We actually need some lava. Let's go get that. Hopefully all of our friends will have despawned by the time we get up there. And I'm gonna just toss a little bit of this netherrack in there. Boop, boop, and a boop. There we go, four buckets of lava. I think it worked. So far, I'm not walking into any death. And that is, that's an improvement. That is, oh, it's a big improvement. We gotta break all the last of these blocks around here so we can get rid of all of them. Oh, this is gonna be bad. As long as I don't let it stack up to having like 15 of them again, I think we can play around down here and be okay. Okay, I think everything out here is clear. We just gotta get rid of that little bit of the fire and then we gotta finish everything down below by placing in all of the glass and creating a whole big box to safely house our blazes inside because we wouldn't want anything to happen to them. They're very precious to us. They're like cats though. Sometimes they kind of scratch you a little bit. I am determined now to get this done before I run out of bread. That is just a goal of mine. Two walls are fully in place and it's starting to look a little bit like a safety room. And oh my gosh, there are blazes everywhere. Welcome to clip number 75 of Flip saying blazes are everywhere around him. We got one side left to go, and we've got five bread left to our name. We're taking out these blazes, and we're going to be able to fly through this section. Oh, it's all coming together now. Oh, no, it's all going wrong. We are on fire. Oh, my gosh, we're going to be able to do it. Look at that. No, I misplaced. And they're all trapped inside. I forgot to get the fire out of there. Mm, I got to go back in somehow. I think from the top I can get to it. I don't know how much it's gonna matter having the fire in there, but I feel like Anna ate my glass. Haha, <laughs> losers, you guys are all stuck in there while I'm out here. Look who's the winner now, and I still got three bread to my name. We've got a little bit of the killing chamber together, and holy cow, there are so many blazes up here. I feel like I'm listening to Darth Vader sounds on repeat at this point, but we put these slabs in here, and then I forgot them, but I need to throw a few trapdoors up in this point. So I'm gonna run away, let them all despawn, because it does look like I need to jump back in there again. Well, at least I need to do this, and they're gonna all pathfind to me here in a minute. But if we can get in here and just place vines around this entire thing. This is me having a big brain play of remembering that wood now exists inside of the nether. Let's just get this. All right, everything in here is ready, except we need to get these four buckets of lava right here in the corner. So if we take this, get our silk touch guy out. Nobody's looking at us. Bucket of lava instantly with the glass. That should be flowing. Filling up exactly the corner. Oh, perfect, I measured everything correctly. And there we have it. Everything should be flowing towards the center here. Look at all those blazes go. Oh, there's even fire behind me. Wow, it's really uh, just really in the moment over here. Really just going for the environment. That is awesome. That is so funny looking. Some are actually going back up, but I'm assuming that's due to entity cramming of just so many blazes being down in this area. This thing can apparently give like a thousand blaze rods per hour, which is just nuts. And I love that. So we're going to be using this for sure. All this netherrack, I'm not going to use it. Let's just leave it here. For now, I'm gonna put our nice brand new ancient debris that we have in the back of this pickup truck right there, you know? The creeper-proof pickup truck. And with that, it is definitely 1000% time to enchant a new sword, because this thing has 80 durability on it. If we save it, and this thing rolls sharpness four, we can get a sharpness five sword, which would be pretty cool. Knockback two, 
Sharpness 2, knockback 1. We're level 34 right now, so we could actually just roll one of these and do this, because I don't want a knockback sword. It's not my favorite thing in the world. So I'm going to take that guy, come all the way up here, use our steering wheel here, and get that off. We're down to 33, which means we can roll two big enchantments. Smite 4, Smite 1, Bane of Arthrod 1. We're going to do the same thing again. There we go, sharpness four. That'll at least give us a sharpness five sword. What else do we got? And eh, knockback, yeah, whatever. But unbreaking three. So we got a sharpness five, unbreaking three sword if we can combine them now. Five levels to be able to do that. What is it the other way? 17. Let's do this way. Yep, that sounds much better. All we need on this dude now is some sweeping edge and he is ready for all of the farms we have. Well, I did it, folks. I spent a little bit of time down here getting every single thing organized in our chest, and it is absolutely fantastic. I know it's kind of a weird change, but folks, I, I spent way too long doing this thing, and that's all I got time for in today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Click that like button down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are brand new, and my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.